When we think of people finding hidden treasures, we might picture divers unearthing enormous shipwrecks deep under the sea or explorers coming across the mythical golden city of El Dorado. It has come to light that common individuals are capable of discovering hidden riches virtually any place in the world. In each of these five situations, the protagonists were leading quite ordinary lives when they suddenly came into possession of an unexpected windfall. So before we begin this amazing list, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Let's dive in. Number 5. Below the Water's Surface. A fisherman who lived on Palawan Island in the Philippines observed that his boat's anchor become entangled on something after he dropped it and attempted to free it. When he descended below the surface to investigate, he discovered that the anchor had entangled on the largest clam he had ever seen in his entire life. He forced the lips open in the hopes of discovering a pearl that he might then sell to a jeweler and make a profit. He didn't find the traditional pearl in the shape of a sphere but rather a big white mound that weighed 70. 5 pounds. It was completely different from anything else he had ever encountered before. Because this wasn't a standard pearl that could be strung onto a necklace, he assumed that it was useless and opted to keep it as a lucky charm under his bed. A woman by the name of Aileen Cynthia Magay, Annie Rayo works as a tourism officer for the island of Palawan, and she was looking for methods to draw more people to come visit, which would bring in some much-needed tourist money to aid the local economy. The aunt of the man was seeking for ways to attract more people to come visit the island. Given that it was such an unusual item, her nephew reasoned that perhaps other people might be curious about seeing it. Therefore, he delivered the pearl to his aunt, who exhibited it by placing it in a case with glass. They were shocked to learn that the enormous pearl had a price tag of $100 million after hearing the tale of how it was found. Number 4. There are times when all your effort pays off. Many years had passed during which time the Elliott family had rented a farm in Somerset County, England. They had been cultivating the land for several decades prior to obtaining a mortgage in 1998, which allowed them to purchase the property. Since Kevin Elliott and his cousin Martin Elliott were working the farm together, they came to the conclusion that since the land now belonged to them, they might use a metal detector to see if there was anything of value buried on the land and see if they could unearth it. They were aware that the land was quite ancient and that it had been farmed continuously for hundreds of years prior to their arrival. Therefore, it did not come as a surprise to them when they drew out the metal detector. They discovered 9,213 Roman denarii coins made of silver. Due to the sheer number of them, they had to use buckets to transport them back to the house. They sold the coins to the Somerset County Museum for 2.6 million pounds, which is equivalent to 3.5 million dollars in American currency, once they were certain that they had located all of the coins. Although there is no record of what the Elliots did with the money, it is quite possible that the land paid for itself. There is no report to support this possibility, however. Number 3. The dream of shoppers who like to save money. Nearly everyone who has ever moved into their very first apartment has been forced to make purchases from second-hand stores in order to furnish it, yet nearly no one has become wealthy as a direct result of doing so. A college student who was residing in Berlin, Germany in 2007 and needed to buy a couch went to a local flea market in order to find second-hand furniture in order to save money. She purchased a couch that included a pull out bed for the price of $215. When she took it back to her apartment and pulled out the bed to examine it, she discovered a little picture measuring 10 by 12 inches that had been hidden inside. She couldn't find a signature on it, and she wasn't sure how much it was worth, so she took it to a local art auction to get some feedback. It was discovered that the picture dated back to the 1600s and that it had been created by a friend of a well-known painter from Venice named Carlo Saracini. It was marketed under the title Preparation for Escape to Egypt and brought in a price of $27,630. Number 2. A present that comes from our history. In France, collapsing chateaus are handed down from one generation to the next within the same extended family. The amount of labor that would be required to repair up a mansion or castle, in addition to the obligations that come along with owning such a building, significantly outweighs the value of the structure itself. There are many older residences in aristocratic families that are left untouched for multiple generations, and these mansions eventually fall into disrepair since the children of these families prefer to live their own lives in contemporary houses and apartments rather than dealing with their ancestors' home. 
Because of this, when one heir, who preferred to remain nameless, received their family property in Normandy in 2016, it was still stocked with antiques and ancient possessions from years before. They made the decision to shift the furniture, and they discovered tin crates that had a heavy layer of dust covering them. Bars and coins made of gold with a total value of $3.7 million were stashed away inside. The one and only drawback is that they will be required to pay inheritance taxes upon the sale of the property. Despite this, that amount of money ought to be more than plenty for doing the essential modifications on the deteriorating mansion. Number 1. Removing the condensate from the bottom of the tank. Metal scrap is brought into recycling operations so that it can be melted down and reused. Mike Rogers, an employee of Bluegrass Recycling in Burlington, Kentucky, was cleaning out one of these barrels when he noticed something green at the bottom. The barrels at the facilities hold various metal pieces, and Mike Rogers noticed it as he was cleaning out the barrel. They were antique United States savings bonds, and their individual values varied from $50 to $500, with a total value of $22,000 for the collection as a whole. Someone must have made a mistake when donating a coffee cup or other metal container because there is where the ties were kept. Rogers and his wife did some investigation as soon as they came home from work in order to determine who the property's first owner was. After conducting some research, all he was able to determine was that a certain woman named Martha Dobbins had purchased these items, and that they were intended for someone named Robert Roberts. It may sound like a name that no one would ever dare to give their child, but Rogers actually found hundreds of men named Robert Roberts, and he had no idea how to find the true owner of the name. This may sound like a name that no one would dare to give their child. Instead of losing up, he decided to get in touch with each and every Robert Roberts in the country and ask them if they had ever heard of a woman by the name of Martha Dobbins. As a result, the money was accidentally given to someone else. A few days before Christmas, Mr. Roberts was surprised with a very generous gift that he had not been expecting at all. Which of these was the weirdest one? Tell us in the comments. Also if you're new to our channel don't leave without subscribing. Thanks for watching.